One man who certainly knows his way around the front row is England's most capped player of all time, Jason Leonard. He always took great pride in pulling on the famous white jersey. I was lucky enough to play for England and uh, got capped at under-19 level. And again, once you, you experience that representative game, that, 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 that you pull on that England shirt, you want to do it at the next level. So I wanted to do it for the under-21s. And then once I'd done it with the under-21s, I wanted to do it for England. The, the pride and the passion of, of when you pull on that shirt uh, for your national country, uh, your national team, whether you, you're, you're getting your first cap or you're getting 114, it's exactly the same. You think about actually all the people that helped you get there, as in a teacher, as in a, a coach, uh, mum or dad, all those sort of people, all the people that helped you on that journey, and you want to make them proud, that's the, the, the big thing about it. But again, you are there with mates, and that mates in adversity as well, because you just get closer, you just get tighter. It's just you 15 or you squad, you 30, against the whole country, against millions. And that's very much what it felt on my first England tour. Leonard enjoyed many fiery front row encounters down the years, but recalls certain sparring sessions with a particular fondness. Early on in my career, I think any of the French players, they, they, they were all great props. Uh, Pascal Wondart's always stood out to me. He was, he was the world, world's best prop. Physically tough, mentally tough, uh, and a very good player as well. A guy called Olo Brand, who played for New Zealand, was fantastic. He was a, possibly the first sort of modern prop going forward that could actually, he was a great scrummager, but he could run, he can pass, he could tackle, he, was, he had brains, he knew the game. Um, and he, he was one of the, the, those guys that moved that game on, sort of thing like that. You've, there's been loads of them, and it's, it's been a pleasure, my pleasure, to yeah. actually play against them. The highlight of a prestigious career was undoubtedly the 2003 World Cup final victory over Australia. The culmination of an adventure that began over a decade beforehand. The one thing that, that remains from then, even still now to this day, it was um, very much the sense of a job well done. A lot of the players weren't talking about themselves. They were talking about how glad they were for other players. You're looking around going, I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed for Martin Johnson, or I'm chuffed for Lawrence Delalio, or I'm chuffed for Will Greenwood, and you, you're, you're happy for them because of their, their, what's, what they've experienced on the way there, because you're all close mates. On the flip side of that is they're looking at me saying, I know Jason played in a World Cup final in 1991, and he lost, and, and I'm glad we won for him. And the fans, to say, we, we had the best travelling fans in the world, that they come all the way to the other side of the world to support us. It was amazing. This season, Leonard became the first player from the professional era to be appointed president of the English Rugby Football Union. His main aim, to attract more youngsters to the sport. You're lucky enough to go to some very beautiful, great clubs up and down the country. Um, but going to a club that's only got 120 members, that's just started up, that didn't have any shower facilities last year. That is the lifeblood of rugby, is grassroots rugby. Everything in rugby is about, it's about inclusion. Anyone can play rugby, if, whether you're tall or you're short or you're slow or you're fast, it, it doesn't matter. You have a look at the international level, level um, we're talking about, oh, well, second rows have got to be tall. Yeah, well, they've got to be tall. Have a look at Victor Matfield. If you're going to be a prop, you've got the shape of being a prop. You're not going to be a Victor Matfield. So, um, no, it's, it's one of those ones that you... Um, I got put in the front row, and I always thought I was going to get taller, and I only, I only really got wider, to be, to be quite honest. We've been lucky enough this year to see the biggest and best World Cup ever, and, and the amount of people that have contacted me to say, well done or thank you, but around the world just saying my little Johnny wants to play rugby now or my little Jenny wants to play rugby now because of the World Cup and watching it and supporting it and getting carried away with it and it's, it's a, a huge pleasure and an honour to, to have been part of that. <laughs>